Tip number three for getting that house in a competitive market. Have really short contingencies. Now usually in a real estate contract there are three general contingencies that fall into just about every contract. Number one is called the due diligence period, which is the, the inspection period. Number two is the financing contingency. And number three is the appraisal contingency. Now most uh, buyers agents that help their clients write offers will put in a 10 day, maybe 14 day due diligence period. Right? What I like to do is put in a six day due diligence period. Now it's still enough time for us to get an inspection done. It's still enough time for us to go to the house, make sure it's the one that you absolutely love. And it, it's enough time and, and plenty of time to get all the earnest money submitted and everything else done. On the flip side of that, when a seller is looking at an offer and it has, and let's say there's three offers, one that has a 10 day due diligence period, one that has a 14 day due diligence period, and ours that has a six day due diligence period. That tells the seller that this buyer for their property is more likely to go through with the contract. They're less likely to back out because they have a shorter due diligence period and they're more committed to going through with the sale. So reduce that due diligence period as low as possible, I would say six days. Sometimes you can even get away with five days. The second contingency is the financing contingency. Now financing, since you're already pre-approved, conditionally approved by the lender, mo most, most buyer's agents will put in 21 days. But since you're already conditionally approved, you can cut that down to like 14 days, sometimes even 12 days to make sure that you're being as competitive as possible. Because again, when a seller is looking at two offers, one that says 21 day financing contingency, which basically means if, if a buyer can't qualify for a loan, in uh, 21 days, then they can cancel the contract. Ours will be down to 14 days. And if you get everything turned in, sometimes we can even do a zero day financing contingency because everything is complete. Now, third contingency is the appraisal contingency. Typically, again, it's 21 days for a lender to get an appraiser out there, for the appraiser to do the appraisal, for them to send the report back, for it to get reviewed by the underwriter. Instead of 21 days, we can cut that down to say 12 days and make it a lot shorter. So when we put all three of these things together, right? Number one, we get you pre-approved. We make sure that your loan is essentially done and completed before ever even looking for a house. Number two, we include that escalation clause in your contract to make sure that whenever there's multiple offers, we're going to win every single time and get you that house without overpaying for it. And number three, we include those really low, those really short contingencies that make a seller feel really confident about us purchasing their house. When we do all three of those things, the chances of us getting that property for you under contract have skyrocketed through the roof and it's almost guaranteed that we're gonna get you this house. So here's some tips and tricks. Uh, feel free to take them away. If you're working with another agent, feel free to share them with them. And uh, if there's anything that I can do to help, just reach out to me. would love to help any way that I can.